What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I'm playing a game that, like, I don't know if any of you are going to like, but I've been playing it, I like it, I've, I actually like RTSs, and I actually started playing Command and Conquer, I remember, like, way back in the day, but, uh, this is Anno 2070, this came out fairly recently, I want to say in the last three months or something like that, at least this year it came out in 2012, and it's, uh, it's a computer game, it's RTS, and, uh, I don't know, I'm going to try to kind of, I guess, talk my way through it, kind of teach you guys what I've learned. This is some really intense uh, music, isn't it, right? It's like, Jenny, I don't want to keep the baby. I'm sorry. I have a career to pursue. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, so, uh, yeah. <clears throat> We're going to start a new game here and uh, see what we can do. So, uh, I'm going to play the continuous game. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, basically, there's a lot to talk about. Well, first off, I'm gonna do easy because I haven't been able. Like, I don't want to record this and like fail. And bleh, bleh. I'm just gonna give you guys a taste of this. I'm not gonna make like a full length video. Confirming. Uh, like let's play or anything. But um, anyways. Also, I want to point out a few things while I mess around with this, dick around with this. Uh. I went to go visit the University of Texas. I really liked it. That would be the ideal place to go to college for me, because um, I'm looking at colleges, because I'm uh, going to be a senior in high school, and so, yeah, um, that's where I was. That's why there were less uploads, and let's see, what else do I need to not do? I think that's all I need to do, really. <clears throat> What I did is I changed the starting credits to make it a little tougher on me. Just so I didn't have exorbitant, unlimited amounts of monies. Monies, haha. <laughs> so anyways, there are two factions. First off is the Eden Initiative. These are the green guys, the eco-friendly, morally uh, sound individuals, basically. And I played as these guys, and so I don't want to really play as them. Uh, I've gotten really far. I haven't beaten it yet. Or, you know, technically speaking, there's no way to beat it, but... Uh, I've gotten really far with these guys, but I haven't gotten far with these guys. Global Trust. These guys are just like, environment, you can suck my dick. And, uh, basically that's it. So, also want to mention, guys, this really sucks for me to tell you, but I, I've been renting Jack and Daxter HD Collection. I haven't been buying, I haven't bought it. Uh, I've been renting the game. And it just so happens that I re-rented it after coming back in town, and my save game was not there. And I swear to God, I, sa I save all the time. I'm not one to not save. I don't know what happened. And that was an hour into that game. I just don't feel like going back into it. So, I don't know, guys. I think I'm going to have to postpone Jack 2. And that's why I'm kind of asking you guys about this game. There are also some other games I'm interested in. So, uh, anyways, let's start our mission. Okay, so, basically... We're starting off here. Fortune City. Wow, that's so special. So anyways, this is our warehouse. This is uh, one of these. You can have one of these per island. Here's our little island. Uh, it's not so little. It's actually huge. Let's see how many. We have Jesus Christ. Nine mine sites. That's a shitload. And 11 free sites for... Okay, that would be including uh, lobster. So, anyways... I'll get into the semantics of all this uh, when, like, on a need-to-know basis, I suppose. But, uh, anyways, so, yeah, you right-click, and you have this little menu. You have to turn it on. It's not on by default. But, uh, anyways, <clears throat> the way this works is, if you guys have played any kind of RTSs, you know what I'm uh, talking about. But, uh, well, actually, this is really unique. Anyways, so... Basically, the, the objective of this game is to build a city, make it sustainable, and have, like, money, I suppose, and uh, progress your citizens to the highest level possible, and have, like, you know, uh, just make everything sustainable. That's just a general uh, way of saying it. But anyways, I built a city center, and this is basically... Uh, kind of the central hub for your citizens so this is a really important place and you can have multiple of these really you start out with one that it, it, you don't really need more than one until you get real far down the road in the game but uh, anyways 
So road, you need to build ro build road uh, to satisfy citizens, and that sounds weird. It's also for transportation, and uh, we'll get into that in a second. But uh, let's see. So I'm building. These are called worker barracks, and these are people. So I'm building uh, places for people to be, and they generate credits, which is obviously money. So command we're gonna build ship some. ready to go. Okay. Thanks, Eve. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm building some worker barracks right now, and uh, I'll, I'll, once I build this little road here, I'll tell you why I built a road. Okay. So uh, these are our workers. They all look like this. It's kind of strange. This is the tax level. That fight a little while ago. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you. You should have seen it. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, so this is the tax level. Uh, this is uh, basically. Whenever you change this, they get, see, his disposition kind of changes, but you're taxing more. Right here, he's like, I can't believe you, you damn fiend. This guy's like, no, oh, this is, and that guy's kind of like, oh, this is ridiculous. I don't like this. I don't like living here. So, uh, basically, this is a really good place to have your happiness. Um, I don't know what level Not this sure is. It's hard work, but we could be doing a lot worse. Happiness. So, he's ha euphoric, happy. Calm, irritated, and angry. Angry. So, basically, you want to tax them about here the entire time. That gives you like a decent amount of money, and uh, yeah. But anyways, basically, that's a core mechanic of the game. And I just wanted to share it with you people. But uh, also, I should go back and show you guys some more things. And, uh, anyways, I, I, I mean, some people do this very robotically. I want it to look a little more, uh, natural and different. Oh, man. So, you uh, here and me with no that's why I'm making this that. weird formation. So, anyways, down here it shows you for this type of citizen what kind of needs they have. They have needs. And, obviously, if you play The Sims, this is kind of like The Sims, just a little bit. Not really. Not the same, but just a little bit. Anyways, they have need for food, community, drink, and activity. And we only have food and community right now. And the way you get food, of course, is having fish. Now, we must be running out of fish. Actually, it's still going up. That must be just because we're still uh, starting and whatnot. But uh, anyways, oh, oh, that's filling their you need. Hear? And okay, me with shut no up, booze bro. In the shut house. up, shut up. Uh, community, this is just... Uh, basically connecting uh, the road to the city center. The city center is basically their sense of community. That's where I guess they can meet up and stuff. But as you can tell, here's the population. People are moving in. Uh, I can press the plus button to fast forward and you'll see that that number... Shortages the... of goods. Shit. 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 Okay, sorry. Uh, that was unnecessary. Uh, shortages, I must be food. But uh, anyways, as you can tell, uh, people moved in and keep moving in because there's space. I make those houses, but people aren't autom automatically in the house. So, uh, anyways, we have to build some fisheries. You know why? Because we need to feed the people. So I'm gonna build one right ja. Can I not build another one over here? Well, that's deeply saddening. How 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 dare they give me a harbor? And give me like no freaking room to uh, do anything. So what I did right there is I just knocked it down because I'm trying to... There we go. That was weird. Uh, so I'm placing two right there. That, uh, obviously, each building takes a certain amount of something to make, as you can tell. Uh, this has cost 125 credits, uh, two tools, and one building module to create. And um, it also sinks power, which is right up here. Uh, energy supply. There's the eco balance. Basically, uh, when you're a tycoon, which is what I am, I'm the tycoon, so not an eco, not an eco friendly. I'm a tycoon. Not really concerned about the ecosystem. So, uh, you know, this is the meter basically. And since I, I'm a tycoon, I can have a negative eco balance, which means a little polluted, a little dirty. Um, so yeah. And right here, in order to uh, speed the process up of getting uh, you know, some, uh, fish. I have built a road here, and you'll see, you see the little people working? Uh, there should be some cars fairly soon transporting. See, there's one right there. 
getting, you know, fish and then taking it back into the warehouse. And that's obviously where everything's stored and it's just readily available from the warehouse. So that's really nice. Um, so yeah, uh, we have our food. Let's see. What's our... Uh, so our fish is going up, so that's good. We're uh, having positive gains on fish and building modules and tools. I don't know how they're, those are uh, going up. Anyways, right here we got our total wealth. We currently have under 9,000 credits. That's okay to start out, and the tax income is giving us a, a positive balance. So we're gaining money and not losing it. And each building that you build has, uh, well actually, I think it depends. Uh, they usually have a maintenance. Um, but anyways, so yeah, let's see, we need to build some of these. So these are, like I said before, in order to build stuff, you need certain amounts of things. So up here in the top left, you see I uh, need building mod. Well, one of the core things of building anything, I'm pretty sure you need building modules for everything you do. So obviously you need a way to create building modules. So you go into your build menu here and you click the basalt crusher which basically on the island it it just digs down in the island i want to say to get basalt and uh you know do things i don't know that was really bad uh sorry i just completely blanked on what i was going to say so it basically digs down c collects that basalt and uh, turns it into granules so granules are then taken to a smelter, which is I'm just gonna build right next to it. And then the way I'm gonna structure this is I'm gonna put a road around it, make it look a little nicer, and then lead this road to the warehouse. So what's gonna happen, of course, I could probably surround the, the warehouse with a road. Uh, what's gonna happen is obviously this stuff is gonna be made, then the little robot guys are gonna be like, see, yeah, there's some kind of transportation it's going to be sent over to the smelter. So it's taking basalt from there, My putting it. Contains data, which could be important. Okay, whatever. Uh, putting it into, putting the basalt, the granules. It's, okay, so it's taking basalt out of the earth, turning them into granules, and then taking it to the smelter where it's being smelted. It's being heated heated up right now, so the current pr productivity is rising. It'll be at 100%. Uh, when, it, when everything's said and done, and then it creates building modules, and then those are going to be transported back to the warehouse for me to use. So that's how that works, and that's fairly simple to grasp, in my opinion. Also, right here, this right click menu is such a lifesaver. You can use what's called the pipette to basically just grab something and supply plop it down. Now, see, we're having a problem here, we have an energy shortage our energy is negative so that means what we have to do and uh, normally as an eco I'm used to plopping down wind turbines wind turbines and now that we're not an eco we're going to use coal to uh, produce power so let's see so that means we're going to have to probably use this I'm just gonna use this this is a mine site right now shows you all the resources it's got 94,000 tons which is a shit ton. Ah ha ha. So, yeah. What we're going to need to do is... Let's see. Can I build it in this range? I sure can. So, what I mean by that, this is the constru construction zone where I can build, uh, basically, production buildings. Uh, construction zone, production buildings. Yeah. So, I'm going to check my time here. Yeah, I'm good. So, basically... I'm gonna get an excavator. Oh, I thought I needed a mine. I guess I don't need a mine. So I'm gonna take this ugly monstrosity of a something, plop it down right there, and then build a coal power station right next to it. And that's obviously pretty self-explanatory as far as what's that what that's gonna do. And that's that's gonna produce. So it's gonna take coal out of the ground, turn it into coal, I guess. <laughs> you know, it's just gonna scrape coal out of the ground. And then my little robot guys are gonna transport it over to the coal power station where it's gonna be here. It's gonna turn into eco energy. Balance. Values sinking. So the value of our eco balance is seeking sinking, which isn't bad because uh, we're tycoons and we're 
not worry about the environment. It's kind of funny. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, there we go. Not worry about the power, because that power will come up once this coal uh, excavator starts doing work. And actually, it should be, yeah, it's transporting right now, or should be at least. Anyways, it'll be working in just a second. We'll have plenty of power. Right now, we're losing a lot of money uh, because of maintenance. See right there in the top left, we have our tax income, but then we have our building maintenance, which is uh, much, much higher because I've built quite a few buildings. I don't know if I needed to build this many uh, basalt crushers, but we have plenty of food, uh, plenty of building modules, tools, or something we'll have to handle uh, later on. I don't think I'll be handling them in this little preview video, but anyways, as you can tell, it's getting coal. It takes it immediately since it's right next to it. There's no downtime. It's pretty efficient, and uh, it takes it over there. Now we have a positive surplus of energy, so that'll keep rising. Uh, the, the benefit of these, they take up a lot of space, but they produce a lot of power. Like, we'll have about 40 power probably by when it's all said and done, so... Now, uh, since I have a negative balance, I'm going to build more buildings, more citizens, and uh, I always want to make sure that they're connected to the city center because that fulfills their need for community. And so, anyways, I have 59 workers, and in order to uh, unlock the need for drink, I need more workers. So, obviously, some asshole needs to move in. Buildings. Okay. Available for construction. So one guy moved in, obviously. And so I can go over here. These are all my updates. Um, okay. So now that uh, I've kind of reached a different thing, I can uh, satisfy different needs. So now here's the satis... Oh, I need to satisfy oh, the need. Okay, shut here, up. And me with no Ooh. booze in the house. Okay, obviously they're alcoholics. Anyways, so I need to satisfy this uh, my citizens' need for liquor. And that will, the reason you want to satisfy their needs is they'll start paying more tax. They'll start paying you more. So that's why you, you sometimes you need to spend money to get money. That's kind of, I uh, hope you guys understand that concept. So right here we have our distillery. So in order to build a distillery, you need what's called rice fertility. So every island comes with a certain kind of fertility. There, it comes with about three. And this island, I can create tea, I can, or it has uh, tea fertility, rice fertility, and coffee fertility. So that means that the soil is uh, the right type for building, uh, for producing whatever I need. So anyways, once again, this is the construction zone. I'm not entirely sure that I want to have my, uh, you know, my distillery uh, in this area. So what am I going to do? I'm going to build a depot and build it actually yeah I need I do need to build a depot and I'm gonna build it out here actually that's probably where I'm gonna extend my city in the future so you gotta think game about these things saved. also there's automatic save game which is fucking cool um so actually you know what I'm gonna think ahead in the future put a depot here because zoning I'm, plan expanded I'm going to enough building land available for production cool uh so yeah eventually I'm gonna cultivate is that the right word? Uh, this mine site. And it's going to go directly into this depot. But uh, that's just future planning. Now I can build a distillery over here where there's some open land. And uh, I'm going to build it fairly close to my depot here. So, anyways, here's my distillery. And sometimes buildings, they need uh, certain parts in order to function. So, uh, I don't know. That's the best way I can... Uh, Describe that. So anyway, to create alcohol, you need rice patties. So since we have a rice fertility on this island, everything works out uh, perfectly, and I'm going to be able to plop down that rice uh, cultivating patty field and that one right there. And so that means two out of two. That means it's going to work. It's going to function. And I need to, of course, connect it to my depot so the little machine dudes... Uh, are able to go back and forth between the distillery and we'll have plenty of alcohol for our uh, citizens so uh, that'll make them happy and in turn pay more monies because we want the monies so I'm gonna build uh, some more it's kind of okay I didn't mean to do that with that one it's kind of very very my building a little bit 
uh, leave a little space for future something, whatever. Uh, so yeah. So as you can tell, the rice patties are working. It's cultivating that and creating some liquor that's being taken in here. And as you can tell, this liquor will start filling up. I'm going to fast forward to see, as you can tell, uh, I need more, basically. So uh, they're starting to pay me more, I believe. Let's look at this. Yeah, they're starting to pay more. See, that negative balance is actually going to go positive. But I don't know if I have enough alcohol being produced. I don't. So... I'm going to build another distillery here, right across the way. Build these rice patties. I don't know why I moved those back. They can just be set right there. Uh, fast forward. Get that to start working. That's really cool. This is a beautiful game. I hope it work, work, uh, looks pretty good in the recording. Uh, so now that both those are working, I'm gonna just can those and reposition. Sorry, I'm a bit OCD, uh, just slightly. Boom. So now everything's hunky-dory and proportional. And as you can tell, the people are paying up. They're paying much more money. The tax income is good. Everything's uh, Jolly Roger, basically. So I was, yeah, as you can tell, they're paying much. They're paying 116, while my building maintenance is only 85. So that would be positive. So, yes. Let's see. What else? I'm going to add a little more houses. Give me some more monies. Uh, so now, basically, the objective is to fulfill then their... My kids will have it oh better God. than me. Guaranteed. Fulfill their need for activity. So, I need to get 114 tycoon workers when I have 98 right now. So... Let's see, what am I maximum? My maximum right now is 112 based on how many buildings I have. So I'm just gonna start building more places for people to live. And that's 136, so that's still not enough. Let's go ahead, build right there. Build a little road jutting out right here. It extends, build that right there. What are we looking at now? 152, so that's enough. We need 144 at least to fulfill the need for activity. So as you can tell, you can still monitor, uh, you know, there's a lot of monitoring that goes along uh, with this game. So, you know, you look at your depot, do I have enough fish? Yes, I have plenty. Do I have enough liquor? Kind of, pretty much, I mean, it's stable. Uh, I have plenty of fish. The storage is actually full, so uh, that most likely means that these are gonna be like, oh, uh, Production is halted because we have too much fish uh, pretty soon here, but actually it's good. Liquor's filling up. Tools aren't really filling up. I don't know why it doesn't. Why it says that. New Building modules available are uh, filling up. So basically what I just did there by fast forwarding is let enough time go by where tycoon workers would move in. So we now have 144. Now, as you can tell, we could look at their uh, need for activity. And they need... A casino to fulfill their activity of course so that means we can now build a casino which only satisfies this certain area so those uh, those buildings I built over there I need to reposition just break down and reposition so I'm gonna put my you improve yourself just as I do. cool Eve you're awesome not really uh, so yeah as you can tell satisfies this many people I'm just gonna re uh, just break these houses. There, there, there. My and buddies and I are really grateful. You know, that's uh, enough for everything you're doing. So I need to it. fast forward again, unfortunately, and uh, wait till there's 144. Then I can, then it'll start working. Since that building required 144 population of workers, I had to, uh, I have to wait. So boom. Okay. So now the casino's op, op, operational and their need for activity is being fulfilled and they're paying big bucks i mean it's not really big bucks because obviously you know we're just starting out and these are the lowest of the low they're the shitty citizens no i'm kidding but anyways you always want to be conscientious about uh once again maintaining uh all of your supplies you don't want to just randomly run out of stuff that sucks so uh yipper dipper 
So, yeah. So, what happens right now? Well, hold on. Let's see if our... Uh, no. Uh, are you still paying more? Okay, about 94. One day, so. my kids will have it better than me. Guaranteed. I'm sure they will. Okay, so... Oh, shit. I forgot to do this. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is... Uh, denying their ascension rights. So, normally, they just suck up resources in order to... Uh, how do I put this? In order to further themselves as, uh, blah, 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 as citizens, and, and like in order to evolve, because there are four levels of s citizen that you can have. There's worker, uh, I can't remember the second one. Third one's engineer, last one's executive. So, oh, second one's employee. So. Anyways, the the way you basically evolve, the reason I did that is because they, like I said, they suck up their resources on their own, then they just evolve on their own. The best way to do this, uh, I've, I've been watching some strategy of this game, is to deny them that right and to do it manually. So My the way you do I that, really grateful, you know, you. Uh, for everything you're doing in that, is you put your uh, tax down, so you're getting less money, but then you you'll see right in a second that uh, these arrows will start popping up. Speed up a little bit. Okay, you see all of these arrows. This means it's ready to upgrade, this house is ready to upgrade, and uh, go on to the next level of civilization is what they call it. So I'm going to upgrade this little house right here. I can just click U, or I can click this up arrow right here. Registering new Boom. population class. You really give the impression of caring about your people. Okay, so this is an employee. So this person, tax him right there. Mm, fuck all of you, you're not getting upgrades. Basically, uh, this guy right here. So Mr. Cool Guy, basically, is an employee. He's the next level of civilization, meaning he has more needs. So instead of just fish, he wants hamburgers. Man wants hamburgers. So I can get him hamburgers, whatever. Uh, so obviously he's only 50% satisfied with his food. He already is satisfied with the sense of community since he's connected to a city center, uh, satisfied with the liquor, satisfied with the casino. But also when I get enough tycoon employees, which get is who these guys away, are, but things are pretty good at the moment. I will be able to unlock his need for lifestyle, which will further increase my tax or my uh, balance, which is my money, and uh, satisfy his need for information. I'll need 750, which will further, uh, you know, uh, upgrade and get me more money and more money. And there are four levels of that. So basically, I hope you guys uh, got a basic understanding of this game. And let me know if you're interested in seeing it. I thank you if you weren't. If you saw this video and you were like, eh, I don't want to watch it, and you watched it anyways, and uh, you got through it and you still don't like the game, I still appreciate you uh, checking it out. But uh, for those oh, of you that do. You here and me with no booze in the house enjoy this game uh please let me know and i'll just do like you know like a little eight hour thing because i can play the hell out of this game uh because I, I actually enjoy it so anyways let me know what you guys think this has been jv2017 and i will talk to you guys later peace